Hello, welcome to game six of my match against Naismith. They're up three to two, so hopefully I can uh, get a win here. Um, I don't know, opening sentry seems pretty clear to me. I'm going to start trashing um, fairly quickly, and sentry does that. Um, getting the sentry into the deck the first shuffle seems pretty strong. Um, they do the same, and um, Shantytown goes quite well with that, as it's the only terminal in my deck. Um, second Shady Town doesn't work as well, but I don't know what else to do because I bottom deck all my stuff. Um, so I do have a Shanty Town down there, and I think I'm going to trigger a shuffle, play the horse first, then draw the Shanty Town, trash two, hopefully, play the Shanty Town, draw into the shuffle by a Sculptor, is the plan. Um, sculptors can gain Sculptors if you get Canal, so an early Canal certainly seems, certainly seems possible. It's quite sad that my turn three was so much worse. Um, as they're going to have a five now that they can potentially play turn four that I will not be able to play. Um, they also have a horse down there. Well, okay, we we at least drew deck. Um, they got second century, which makes a good amount of sense. Um, I don't know, I think I really want a Sculptor, though. Um, to start gaining pieces. So they hit three. So yeah, I'm hopefully draw my Sentry or my Sculptor here, but if not, you know, I can pick up another other engine piece, perhaps a Ranger. I've got a couple of Shanty Pounds, so the Rangers will be good draw, and I'll probably be able to sculpt for some Silvers along the way. Um, so I have some Villagers, so I can start the turn with Villagers. Um, okay. So I can gain a Shanty Town and draw. I can just gain a Silver and buy a Sentry. Um, and my next hand is really quite bad, though. It's got two Estates, two Coppers, and uh, and that. So I'm thinking about just gaining a Silver, buying a second Sentry. Um, and next turn's going to be pretty crappy, but... Um, I don't know, next turn's going to be pretty crappy. We'll see. So they got their own Sculptor. Attack a Sculptor, which is not terrible. We've got some Shanties down there as well. Um, I guess I'm going to get a third Shanty Town. I don't like keep buying Shanty Towns, but I'm not quite sure what else I'm supposed to do when I'm getting, getting draws that I'm getting. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the early Sculptor. Um, and... Yeah, my Sentry did get to Trash 2 the one time I played it. Um, I only won the second time. And they've got to Trash, trash both times. So, um, And they're even playing more Sentries. But I should actually be able to play my other Sentry this turn. Um, get Thin, I've got an extra couple of Shanty Pounds for draw, and I can add some Rangers or Vaults or what, what, needs to, what I need to add to uh, get up the Canal. And then Sculptor can gain Archives and Sentries, and you get a Platinum and by provinces or colonies. This is a colony game. So they're like completely thin now, um, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, even if I bought a shanty, I guess I do I get to set another century last turn, I get to play it. Um, yeah, they had a better turn three draw, but their turn four draw was not. Great, but they've mostly been able to thin at this point. Okay, they took another sculptor. I'm gonna discard this. Doesn't seem super necessary. Any town? Um, I guess I gain a silver. Draw. Okay. Well, I bottom deck the. Uh, I bottom deck the sentry again. So, another Sculptor, another Sentry, get a Vault. Vault doesn't seem like it does very much. I'm going to grab myself this Ranger. 
Yeah, bottom making the sentries is not going to make my payload ramp up um, particularly quickly. We both hit five and three, turns three and four. They got the sentry. I got the sculptor. And like, I just bottom decked both sentries. <laughs> sentries multiple times, um, which is unfortunate. As it enables them to get their build up and running and ramping up payload faster. We'll see if they're able to take advantage of it. Um, you can just like continue to gain silvers here. Um, I do think canal is important because then sculptor can gain five costs. Um, we do have some extra shanty towns, so like if I can get the stars to align, I can I can draw with the shanty towns and have more payload, even with all the coppers. Um, this is to me fairly normal. I don't know if other people like sentry as an opener, but. My usual experience with Sentry is that it's turn 12 and you still haven't finished then your starting states because you always draw them at the top of or the bottom of your shuffle with the sentries. Um, other players seem to rate rate them much, much higher um, than I do. I think this play order is pretty clear. Okay. So I can gain a silver here. Draw to the end of my shuffle. I've got nine. They went ahead and got a platinum. Um, that makes sense to me. Um, how much was I able to trash this turn? I trashed a copper and a co I was able to trash two coppers, and this estate is just stuck with me. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I just get a platinum now. Um, I've got the plus five with Ranger already, and uh, the Ranger's primed to draw. So if I can find the Ranger, I can draw. Um, as is, I'm going to play the Sentry's first try to. Uh, Try to trash that estate or some coppers, but having a ranger draw will be will be nice. Um, once we start adding in platinums and other payload, more sculptors. We're just going to be a little bit ahead because of the the way things worked out. I, I don't know if it's just the second century is just fundamentally better, or if it's the um, the order we drew our second fives. Um, I have had a, a sentry hiding at the bottom of every shuffle except for this current one. Um, so potentially this is going to be a nice shuffle. I can trash a couple of coppers. Um, I have three coppers still. Um, we both have an estate. Um, and then um, draw with my ranger. You know, pick up another silver with a sculptor. Get like a canal and a Another ranger, maybe, um, seems reasonable. Um, a canal and a sculptor also seems reasonable. Um, if you have a sculptor in hand and other actions, you can always like sculpt for a shanty town, which is quite nice. Especially because I have two vill villagers. Um, they don't have any villagers currently. Um, you can also sculpt for a sculptor for whatever that's that's worth when you have canal. If I were an Ace Mithra, I would consider yeah, Canal, okay, Canal Vault. That makes some amount of sense. Okay, we'll play it this way. Okay, so this is 10. Um, go ahead and play Shanty Town. Gain a silver. Draw it. That's 14. So I can get my own Canal now. Um, one short, unfortunately, of the... Um, one short of the platinum, but I think another sculptor is the best best card for me now. Um, this is not a good draw. I have exactly six treasures in my deck, and I drew all five of them at the top of the shuffle. That seems pretty unlikely. I have these six treasures in a state, and every other card would be better to draw. I think I just buy another platinum this turn because it seems too early to go in on the colonies because we're building to like double prop double colonies here it looks like but i have two sculptors two sentries three shanty towns and a ranger and then silver estate in the bottom eight um so like any one of those cards if i have a sculptor 
I guess the ranger is not a great out. If I was a sculptor, I can sculpt for a shame town and draw. Um, or I could sculpt for a century and draw an archive or something. Um, oh, yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I cursed myself. I, I guess I cursed myself there. That's just like remarkably unlucky, though. I like. I didn't think I was like ahead or anything, but it just. Um, so I have six, seven stop cards out of. Right, I calculate I have eight stop cards out of sixteen. And I top deck six of them. Um, and I could have left the ranger token in the other side, but then I didn't get more money. Um, didn't get the villager from the silver. Um, at least here I've got both nine and money, so I can get um, a platinum. And um, Is there any reason to buy a pearl diver? I don't see one. Um, at least this turn should be pretty decent. Um, there's like a good chance I'll be able to trash my estate, finally. Um, but yeah, they're just going to be ahead because they had a big turn last turn, which is the kind of turn my deck can do normally. Um, so what do I have going for me? My ranger token is the right direction. Um, my ranger token is the right direction. And I have a couple more villagers that they don't have. And they have an extra platinum. And a vault, and I don't quite see what the vault is doing, but um, it almost saved me a dead last turn. But my bottom four cards are Shanty Town, Sculptor, Sentry, Estate. So with any luck, I will be able to trash the estate. And if I draw the estate, that's not terrible either, because then I can go Shanty, Sculptor, Ranger, um, Shanty, Ranger. Um, and that'll let me draw the heck. I don't quite see the archive. I feel like I can draw deck without the archive, and it's just setting aside payload cards. But we'll see what the top two are. I can also go Shanny. Sentry, Shanty, Sculptor, Silver, Shanty, Draw into the other Sculptor, and then Sculptor, Ranger, um, play Ranger. That can also work. Um, okay. That's good. We're going to do that. Okay, well, we're definitely going to start by doing it this way. Okay, that's silver. The other one's a silver, right? Okay. So, play Ranger, sculpt the silver, play the Shanty Town to draw. And that's 19 and three buys. So, they bought last turn a gold Shanty Town. Don't really feel great about that gold. Um, so another platinum for sure. That gives me eleven. Um, I'm like nearing the point where I want to like trash some silvers, um, as I have more silvers than I need in my deck. So like next time I play Sentry and see silvers, I'm probably gonna trash them. Although perhaps I just add more rangers. Um, so like platinum ranger, shanty town, and. Gives me a pretty decent chance of being able to kick off next turn. And yeah, be careful about the Shanty Towns running, so they may take two Shanty Towns next turn. Platinum Ranger Shanty Town. Um, in theory, they set aside some good good cards. I can also gain an archive um, if I discard silvers with centuries. I can gain an archive at the end of the turn with the sculptor, and then set aside a couple of you know if I can get two two silvers and a platinum on an archive, I can take the platinum to hand and have the two silvers held out. I'm definitely going to take this vault and discard these two silvers along the lines of what I just said to try to 
try to set up either trashing them or uh, setting setting up the archive. Um, so they have one sculptor play still. That's all their shanties. Um, that's all their rangers as well. Uh, are they just going to take the last shanty town? Uh, I'm not like super concerned about that. I have a couple of villagers. Um, and, you know, I really just need one villager to make sure I can kick off my ranger. And then sculptors can sculpt for silver or whatever. Um, yeah, sculpting for sculptors is cute, certainly. Um, 19. So this could be double platinum shanty town. This could be like colony platinum shanty town. Um, they're not quite at double colony yet. Um, Do I really have four? Four platinum? Well, they have one on their archive mat. Ah. So I must have played an archive and seen multiple platinums. That's, that's quite sad. Um, so with a surfeit of villagers, you can do sculptor, shanty, and play the shanty, and sculptor, 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 sculptor. I've got three f rangers. So like a three pile on... All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and trash silvers at this point. Okay, good. We found stuff. Um, so we play this century now. I guess I want to just, I'm just gonna play both, um, both rangers here to draw, as sad as that is. And then Shanty. Shanty, okay, so this is 23 money. Um, play a Shanty Town. Gain a Ranger, play it. Um, so this is the thing, right? I can gain Sculpt for Shanty Town, play a Shanty Town. I've got four actions in Sculpt, 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 Sculpt. What does that do for me? Not much. Um, so this is 23 plus, yeah, this is 23, so it's be 25. So this is going to be province, um, province, shanty town, or sorry, colony, colony. Uh, definitely want to gain you. Play that. Yeah, so I can gain a silver here. Um, that gets me to twenty-five, which can be double colony, um, ranger shanty town. It's a little bit over on the rangers, but I want to make sure I draw and. Um, it's 25, right? So how would I hit, how can I hit 30 next turn with a double colony? I need to add some money to the deck because two sculptors can each gain, um, a silver, which gives me 29. So I need to add another sculptor and that's it. I don't really want to add a sculptor. I can add a vault. I can sculpt for a vault and play the vault. And uh, I'll have two colonies and like a shanty town I can discard. So that should give me a three money. I don't think I'm leaving them a pile out on rangers and sculptors, but stranger things have happened. Well, maybe I am leaving them a sculpt sculptor pile out. They just don't have the, have the villagers, and like they need to draw all the sculptors, which means they need to play all the shanty towns to, to, to actions to draw, and then um, it's a good sign that they don't have. Um, they gained a century. Okay, so this is a very good sign for me. They did not seem to draw particularly well here. Um, can I buy out those sculptors and rangers? I think that's somewhat easier for me to do. Um, I had 25 and five buys last turn, so all I'd have to do is sculpt for three, two rangers, um, play a ranger, and then I've got six buys and 23 money. So that certainly seems within the realm of possibility. Um, they've not found a ranger yet, and they've keep having to play sculptors with one action, which means they have to like gain something that's a action. So um, 
Yeah, they've bottomed back their rangers from the looks of it. Um, and they've had to play their sculptors to gain engine pieces as opposed to um, to worrying about a pile out. Um, if they double colony, yeah, so if they double colony, my plan was to triple colony somehow. I didn't quite do the math, but I'm fairly certain that it that it works out the way I had said. If I can get overdraw here, um, sculpting for silvers gives me actions. I've got all those rangers. Um, is there another pile that I could look at? Rangers and estates is just too many buys. Um, sculptors and rangers would prevent. I would I would not be able to get a colony and sculptor for rangers, but. I think the sculpting for vault and then playing vault and discarding two colonies. Oh, I would have to get right. So sculpt for a silver that puts me at twenty-seven. Sculpt for a vault, discard two colonies and a ranger puts me at thirty. Um, so if I can find a ranger here, um, the top five cards of my deck, um, I should be able to make this happen. If I find the sculptor early and have to sculpt for a ranger, then I'm in some amount of trouble. I just like triple province, which puts me at uh, 38, and they're gonna be at 30, so if they double colony, they're at 50. So yeah, they, they would have to triple colony the next turn. Which is possible, but they've had to, you know, they discarded a platinum and a card. Um, they have two silvers and two platinum in hand, so that's 14. Um, that silver that I trashed last turn feels feels quite questionable now. I don't know, at the time, I was still in the I'm not going to draw well, I'm going to bottom deck all my good cards, I should trash the silvers, and I needed to switch over into the end for a pileout territory. Um, they should have another Shantytown, another Sculptor, another Ranger. So they've got pieces here. Um, Remains to be seen what they're going to do with it. If it, it may be difficult for them to draw through that last platinum to hit double colony. Uh, how much treasure did they play last turn? They played gold, three silvers, two platinum. Um, so assuming like a gold and a platinum is in the discard pile, like a silver and a platinum, um, that's five money, and they've in theory got. You know, 19, 22. So they played the. Okay, so they have. Okay, so I can see the hand now. Um, certainly, double colony is, is easily in reach here. Um, it is quite difficult for them to get to that platinum in the discard pile, though. If they only take one colony here, or if they take like colony province, um, I still think the way I calculated it, I can't. Um, man, can I sculpt for sculptor? Sculpt for sculptor, sculpt for silver, sculpt for silver. Um, and do it that way. It's certainly possible. Um, and then that would leave Three rangers, three sculptors, so I need six buys. I don't think I'm able to get to six buys. I need to play five rangers and both sculptors, and I've got five shanty towns, so it's like possible. Um, okay, so this is 20. Um, this is tough. If you go double colony, you risk me winning. Um, if you go colony province, then can I just buy like four, pro three province now? Mm -hmm. So they had 20, and they had at least 5 more money. So I can't really triple province, but I can double province in response and sort of dare them to, to do stuff. Alright, so they took a ranger, which makes my pileout conditions quite a bit easier. Okay, this is what we want to see. Find the ranger, play the sentry. Um, okay, I guess we can discard this ranger. Um, I'm not sure that we're going to want to play it. Is that true? Yeah, I'm probably certain we're not going to want to play this ranger here. So...
Okay, so this is um, eight, this is 23 money. So if I sculpt the sculptor, sculpt the sculptor, sculpt the sculptor, sculpt the silver. So I sculpt the sculptor, I'm at one action. I sculpt the sculptor, I'm at zero actions. I sculpt the sculptor, I've got one village. I sculpt the silver and there's two sculptors and two rangers left in the pile. So I'd have to find a sculptor or a ranger down there, which should be doable. I've got a sculptor down there. I've got a ranger down there. And I just have to buy 12 things worth. I don't actually know if this is going to work. But we're going for it. Okay, so two rangers, sculptors, and a colony. Wow, this um, big game. Um, I'm surprised I won that one. Um, and hopefully we'll do a uh, post-game talk um, for those on Discord. Otherwise, um, you know, we uh, tied the match. I'm really, really happy about that. They're one of the top players. So anytime I can get a tied match here, I feel good about myself. Um, and please leave a comment if you have any, uh, any discussions or thoughts about the games.